Rebecca and this video is about living with a calculia. A is without and calculia means calculation or mathematics. I had a hemorrhagic stroke that damaged my left angular gyrus and that part of the brain is responsible for reading, writing, math, memory and I have significant impairment in all of those areas. I've already made a video about the presentation of a calculia, so this video is going to be about living with this and how it impacts my everyday life. As an inpatient in hospital, my family recognized the significance of this disability. So they would bring in card games and board games to play with me in our own makeshift rehabilitation program. But there was one moment that I will always remember. We were playing cribbage and the person beside me laid down a seven and then I laid an eight and I worked to try to add that seven and that eight together. And one of my children looked at me so frustrated and said, mom, seven plus eight is 15. How do you not know that? I remember another occasion in hospital I was trying to purchase a coffee at the in hospital Tim Hortons and I had a fistful of change. And although I knew that each coin represented a value and that I would have to add those values together, I was unable to figure out the change that I needed for this coffee. And I remember feeling so hot as I just handed over that pile of change to the cashier and asked her to make the change required for the coffee. I can still see that queue of people waiting behind me and how embarrassed I felt. This next video is about relearning how to make a recipe. Before my brain injury, I did not realize how many cognitive skills are required to do this. Recipes are my kryptonite. They require reading and ordering and fractions. And then if you double that recipe, it also requires addition. There are so many ways for recipes to go wrong. It's lunchtime, which requires math. So I thought I would give this a try. My kids are at home right now due to online schooling due to COVID and so I thought I would show you how difficult it is to do everyday tasks such as make lunch. I've decided to make a chickpea salad recipe, something I used to do quite a bit but I haven't lately and I know from past experience that in doubling a recipe, I need to write out the numbers so that it makes sense to me. The next thing on our list is we also have one and a half to three um, teaspoons of fresh lemon juice. Hi. <laughs> so we have one and a half to three of fresh lemon juice. Uh, so that can be three to six. So three to six teaspoons of lemon. Okay, so this is the process. <laughs> this is the unnerving, unending process of trying to do something as simple as doubling a recipe for lunch. And but here, one over four and one over two is not still two over three. Could you use a, a liquid measuring cup since it's funny? So I have two thirds of a cup and I need to like make meaning out of that. So what I could do is I could do one of these and another half of these. No, those are teaspoons, those are cups. Oh, we're in cups, see? So I'm, I'm in the wrong, I'm in the wrong measuring. So no, I have one and a half of a cup. Let me see what else I have. So I'm in teaspoons world. I'm not even in the right world right now. This is the end of my video of living with a calculia. 
while making these videos, it occurred to me that there are not a lot of upsides to having an acquired brain injury, save and except not having to make a meal for the family for seven months. Thanks again for coming along and supporting me in my rehabilitation process.